friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. If you like my channel, please like and subscribe and help me to build it. Thank you very much. Today, I have Masters of the Universe, Masterverse Roboto from the Revelation TV series. I gotta say, Roboto was one of the highlights of the TV series. I loved his story. I loved that they needed to help him to reforge the two halves of the Sword of Power. I loved that they split the sword into two like they had with the original figures. That was very exciting. I loved how uh, Man-at-Arms was essentially his father because he built him. Just a really nice tender moment in the show. Uh, granted, there were some flaws. I really did like the show, though. Uh, it was I enjoyed it. Uh, I was bitter about certain things, sort of, uh, with He-Man taking the back seat, uh, in his own show. That, that was the most troublesome thing. But other than that, the animation, the voice acting, the story was pretty darn good. I enjoyed it. Uh, that being said, let's get to Roboto. Uh, Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. I, they probably got that from that. I'm sure they did. Um, that's a stick song. If you like the band Sticks, highly recommend them. So, Roboto, uh, just standard Masterverse packaging. Some nice artwork on the side. Ooh, look at that on the back. Ain't that pretty? When Man at Arms was banished by King Randor, Roboto joined his father in exile. All was peaceful until the day Tila showed up at their doorstep on a quest to reforge the Sword of Power. Knowing he is the only being able to carry out the task, Roboto joins Tila to recover the two halves of the sword and forge it himself. Yeah, he looks awesome. Uh, I love how he has the blaster cannon, like Hordak. Um, I'm going to review him too. On the back, we got the uh, full power Evil Lynn. Frosta, I don't remember who she is, uh, Roboto and Stratos, I'm also going to review Stratos as well, there's the other side, there's the bottom, already cut the tape on the side of this, actually it was on, where did I cut the tape, I don't even know, yeah right there, so you know I don't care about the packaging so I'm just going to rip this baby open and get this bad boy out of here because he looks great very excited for this figure even though that that is really cool artwork one last look at that for you guys and here we go we got the two halves of the sword uh traditionally uh he-man had one half and skeletor had one half uh, at least in the comics, and then when you put them together, uh, you can unlock Castle Grayskull with the sword. And he's in there with those little plastic ties, which is slightly annoying. But oh, he's a uh, he's thick. He feels he feels very strong, heavy, durable. Um, so since it's already fallen out, here's a piece of the uh, power sword. Uh, it's, uh, heated up really hot because in the show he has to put the two halves back together. So there's one half. Really nice accessory. Uh, there is the other half. Just nice translucent color. Uh, looks very nice. Sorry, out of focus there. And there they are together. So that's He-Man's half, you can tell by the cross guard there. And uh, there's Skeletor's half. And you can kind of imagine it as one sword. Very nice. Uh, for the other accessories, we get the blaster cannon. Like Mega Buster from Mega Man. Which looks really awesome. There it is on the inside. Love the detail, love the sort of a metallic paint. A rust color. Looks very good. Oh, we even get uh, an additional uh, hand. I believe this is like his welding hand. Or it could be used as a blaster. Whatever. However, you, however your imagination works. Right, folks? And let's see what else we got. So let's check out. Let's check him out, right? He looks great. I, oh, this is a beautiful figure. Uh, we got the nice see-through part there. You can see his... Uh, 
arc reactor uh, Iron Man <laughs> reference, but we got no uh, torso crunch, which is a little bit of a bummer because I love I love the ab crunch on the figures. Uh, shoulders go up about that high. Uh, we got this is really really tight. <laughs> This is super tight, double jointed elbows. So be careful because you don't want to snap that. Oh, this this is not this side is not double jointed. So his right arm is not double jointed. Reason being is this puppy ugh, comes off if I can get it off. Oh, careful with that, folks. You don't want to snap that off. And there is his uh Blaster, this is so tight. You might want to heat this up. Don't do what I'm doing here, because uh, you can snap it. And there's that. See, mine doesn't go on flush. So I may have to heat it up, even drill it out just a little bit. And double jointed knees, which are very tight. This is a very thick plastic, so he is he's thick and, and strong. We got the hinge and the ankles. We got ankle pivot, ankle pivot on both sides. Uh, the kick only goes up about that high. A nice loose thigh cut there. We got the T joint in the hips and the crotch. Uh, he can hardly do a straddle. I don't know if this chest piece pops off and if you can get in there. I don't think so. I think it's glued. Bicep cut, we got full rotation in the wrist, we got a hinge. Uh, this side does not pop off. I find this so odd that maybe maybe it is double jointed and mine's just frozen together. Because it looks like it. I feel like, no, no, I, I just, I don't think it has the double joint. I don't think so, not on the right arm. So I'm going to surrender that. Really nice head movement. Uh, this, yeah, has the barbell for the head articulation, head and neck. Oh, his, uh, the bottom of his helmet moves up and down. That matters to you. Looking great. We'll pop this one off. I can get it off without breaking it. Jeez, I feel like I have to pry that off. Put some WD-40 on there. And here is the other one. Goodness. This is way too tight. I'm going to have to drill this out. But that's what the other one looks like. And we got Roboto. Looking great. I love him. Looks fantastic. You get two. Uh, you get three hand appliances. Uh, here he is with the... San Diego Comic-Con uh, anniversary He-Man. I love this He-Man. This power sword uh, is the die cast. Just awesome. Awesome, awesome. So that's what he looks like next to He-Man. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And God bless you all. Happy New Year, everybody. Peace.